Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'll be doing um, uh, my first Manchester airport update in uh, a while. Um, now uh, this kind of post is kind of special because it is my 100th video on YouTube. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that I would end kind of like the first 100 videos off with uh kind of like the special kind of video uh which is manchester um now before we get into the update um there is no gce uh we still do have gates uh bridges and stop and we have two air stairs but no gce um time frame for this airport update is about 10 p.m um so you do have um, some of the um, uh, long haul flights departing. Some of them have just arrived. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry if um, the lighting on some models isn't that great. Um, I am trying to move my Manchester onto like a um, a. Uh, uh, table so it will be more easier to film and hopefully um it will be more uh, much better um but yeah without further ado uh, let's get started uh with this app update uh we'll start off here with this aircraft right in front we have this aeroflot a330 300 uh, he arrived in at about 6 p.m so about four hours ago and he'll be departing tomorrow morning at about nine o'clock. Right next here, we have this Virgin Atlantic 747-400. Um, uh, just while I'm on this model, uh, if you didn't know, um, I know these are retired, but um, uh, I'm just, with my airport updates, I kind of pretend that COVID isn't a thing. Um, so, when when its old retirement date was about like a year ago that's when i'll know a in a year's time that's when i'll stop using the virgin sample 7 um yeah it's a beautiful model um but yeah so he he arrived in from orlando at about uh quarter to nine um and he'll be departing back out to orlando at about eight tomorrow morning. Virgin Atlantic A330-200. Um, he arrived in from uh, uh, Bridgetown uh, at about an hour ago, um, and he'll be deploying back out to Bridgetown um, seven tomorrow morning. Right here we have this Emirates Triple Seven. 300 ER in the Expo 2020 livery. Um, he actually arrived in from Dubai about about four o'clock and he'll be departing out to um, Dubai tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, so not much has been going on uh, around him. Um, but yeah, he'll be departing at eight tomorrow morning. Now at the cargo slash maintenance uh, area of the airport, uh, we have this Jet 2 737 800. Um, he is just here and he just parked up um, due to a landing gear, uh, front landing gear uh, problem. So they've had to uh, disconnect the front landing gear um, and they're doing some repairs and they're probably gonna get um, a new one in. Uh, this was caused by a hard landing um, and yeah he will probably get fixed up in about a day or so. Cathay uh, Pacific A350-900, uh, he arrived in from uh, Hong Kong International Airport uh, and he's just pulled into the gates. Um, right now there would be a lot of service going on with this aircraft but of course there's no gce so yeah you're just gonna have to imagine uh that going on 
uh, he will be departing back out to Hong Kong uh, tomorrow at about 10 o'clock. Right here we have this Emirates uh, A380. Um, he has actually been delayed now for about an hour. Uh, this is due to a uh, missing passenger. Uh, they're not sure if it's if he's in the wrong terminal or not. Um, but yeah, he has been delayed. Uh, hopefully he can um, depart in about half an hour. Um, but until um, the missing passenger is found, uh, they can't leave. Um, so yeah, he will hopefully be departing in half an hour. Just arrived in from Houston. We have the Singapore Airlines A350-900. Uh, like I said, he just arrived in from Houston and he will be departing back out there tomorrow morning at about 6.30. Uh, here we have another uh, aircraft that has also had a delay. Uh, Ethiopian uh, 787-8. Uh, the cause of his delay um, was a um, broken down service uh, truck. Um, he was just checking out the engines and he's, he broke down right behind the engine. So they've had to get a pickup truck to come and uh, pick him up. Um, but yeah, now uh, as you can see the gate bridge has disconnected from the aircraft and he can finally head out to his, dis his destination, Addis Adaba. Jet2.com 737-800, just pulling into the gate from Lanzarote and will be departing to uh, Pamode, Mallorca uh, tomorrow morning at about 10 past eight. Right here we have this Jet2 Holidays 737-800. He's gonna be making the flight out to Alicante this evening at about uh, half past eight, so in about 20 minutes. Um, and he will be arriving uh, back in tomorrow morning at about 7.30. Right here we have the first of six EasyJets. Um, it is an EasyJet 8019 in the old livery. He's gonna be departing out to Zakathos in Greece. Right here, just loading on passengers, we have this EasyJet A319. Uh, he'll be departing out to Split. And right here, we have the, another EasyJet uh, A320 Neo. Uh, he is going to be departing uh, out to Mercuria in Spain. Right here, we have this SAS uh, 737-800 in the 17 years livery. Uh, he is about to push back um, in about five minutes and he's going to be departing out to uh, Oslo. Right here we have this uh, British Airways City Flyer U190. Uh, he arrived in from London City at about 7.30pm. He's going to be departing back down to London City at 6.45 tomorrow morning. And right here we have another British Airways A320. Uh, he arrived in from Heathrow at about 8.15. He's gonna be departing back out to London Heathrow at 7.30. Right here we have one of the new models. Uh, it is a KLM E175. Uh, passengers are just being loaded on and he is gonna make the flight back out to Amsterdam. He's gonna arrive back into Manchester tomorrow morning at about seven o'clock. Here we have this EasyJet A320 in the border livery. He's just taxiing to the runway for a flight out to Toulouse. Right here we have this Vueling A320. He arrived in from Barcelona uh, at nine o'clock, so about an hour ago. He's gonna be departing back out to Barcelona at 10.45, so in about 45 minutes. Right here we have this Swiss A320 and the Hops Vis livery. He has just arrived in from Geneva 
and he'll be departing back out to Geneva tomorrow morning at about 10 past nine. Right here we have this Air France A319. Uh, he's just getting passengers loaded on and he'll be making the return flight out to Paris Charles de Gaulle um, in about 10 minutes. Ryanair 737-800 taxiing to the runway for a flight out to Kiev. Right here, just taxiing from the wrong way to escape now. We have this EasyJet A320 in the 250th delivery. He has arrived in from uh, Dubrovnik um, and tomorrow morning at about 25 past seven, he's gonna be making the flight out to Futural um, or the home of Cristiano Ronaldo. Right here we have the second new model um, and I will be doing a review on this um, and it will hopefully be coming out on Sunday. It is a EasyJet A319 in the UNICEF livery. Um, he, will, he has just arrived in from uh, Rome um, and yeah, he will be departing out to Milan tomorrow morning at about um, 10 to 9. Last but not least for this airport update of Manchester, we have this Etihad 787-10. He has just arrived in from Abu Dhabi and tomorrow morning at about 11, he'll be departing back out there. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please uh, leave a like and smash that subscribe button. Um, uh, as I said, um, uh, sorry if some of the lighting on uh, the models has been bad. Um, but yeah. Um, also, uh, I will be away um, in Cornwall for about a week. Um, so... Hopefully be expecting a place spotting at Nuki or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, please comment, like and subscribe. And if you could, please share the video um, as, I, as I am on the road to 200 subscribers. I'm about 30 subs away. And but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.